In September of 1989, something happened in the city of Veronezh, 200 miles south of Moscow, which caught the attention of the world press. For several weeks, strange lights were seen over the city. Then on September the 27th, it was reported that a spacecraft landed in one of the city's public parks, from which three alien giant figures emerged. Nothing remotely like this had happened in Veronezh before. Before coming to America in 1990, Ukrainian journalist Paul Stonehill covered the Voronezh story for the international press. Top Voronezh researchers of anomalous phenomena who uh, include scientists, geologists, and uh, also some military people went to the site Im immediately thereafter. They were on the site on the 3rd of October studying and collecting specimen. The encounter became a media sensation on national television and in the international press. Drawings of the landings by children who were there capture the event vividly. It attracted the attention of the media around the world because it was effectively endorsed by TASS, the Soviet news agency who up until that time had certainly not given any credence at all to this kind of story. They had the chance to talk to many eyewitnesses, adults as well as kids, uh, policemen, school teachers, s uh, students, scientists, who had uh, witnessed similar or even differently shaped UFOs. The underlying theme was that giant-like beings exited from strange-looking craft, did some research throughout Voronezh, and were able to get back to their craft and fly away. For once we had a genuine large number of people all correlating with one another, describing the appearance of these giants. So it was not a case of you simply believe a witness or you don't. Here you couldn't fail to believe them because there were so many of them talking in concert. <laughs> I was standing not far from the main road of the South Park and I saw this flying object at an approximate height uh, 200 of 250 meters. It stayed at the same height and did not move horizontally. I was very interested by all that because it could not be any kind of meteorological balloon. There was a squeaking sound. Perhaps some drilling tool was operating, like it was boring a hole in the ground. The creatures started coming out. They did not look too much like humans. They were much taller than humans. They did have shoulders, but they didn't see the head. He was huge, really huge, bigger than we are. He was a mighty figure. In 1989, Sergei Makarov was one of the school children who was in the Voronezh Park. I remember a crowd that gathered around the place. Everybody was scared. Everybody turned pale. I was absolutely flabbergasted. Denis Borzhenko was also one of the boys in the park on that day in September 1989. I saw some traces there and also a strange man outwardly he looked like any other man, only he was huge. A moment later, he suddenly disappeared. I had no doubt that the UFO and the giants existed, because I saw them. But sometimes when I look back, it seems sort of like a fairy tale. 